Following record rainfall in Brevard County, some beachside residents are being forced out of their homes and told to find a new place to live. The apartments have water damage or, and are in immediate need of repairs. Now this is happening at the Brittany Apartments in Indian Harbor Beach. News 6's James Barbero is there now with more on the apartment's emergency plans. Evicted tenants from 20 apartments carrying mixed emotions as they move out of these beachside apartments. Some tenants telling us management is doing a great job helping them move out. Others saying the opposite. A lot of people are on the move right now. It's been very inconvenient. A struggle for everyone involved, says 72-year-old Joseph Maldonado. His Brittany apartment and 19 more uninhabitable after a month of rain. Because as you can see, it's really un unbelievable. Livable. Maldonado says he's thankful for being helped with another place to stay. Ownership is moving him to one of their apartments in Melbourne. Nine days is a pretty quick turnaround. But his uh, neighbor, Stephen so Wilson, they... says that would increase rent three or four hundred dollars. So he and his wife are leaning towards a no. It was a little high for my taste, the rent. I don't know if I want to keep renting from the same company that would kick me out in nine days. My concern is they're not really helping the people. Jen Hoxie is even more displeased. She says says unlike the other tenants, she wasn't even offered a new place to stay. They told us they had no Northland properties available, that we had to pay our security rent all over. In a statement, Northland responds in part, management and staff remain in close communication with residents to assist them as they work through this difficult situation. That includes waiving application fees. Tenants have until Saturday to move out. In Indian Harbor Beach, I'm James Sparvero, News 6.